Yesterday was another busy day for presidential candidate Vice President Lenny Robredo, who returned to Mindanao from the Visayas to campaign like other candidates fighting for the president. It's understandable why they're in Mindanao. The month-long Ramadan is just around the corner, and when it begins, the political campaigning in predominantly Muslim areas will be at a standstill until next month. In May, just days before election day. But something in uh, the vice president's itinerary in Cagayan de Oro was a bit strange and intriguing. Before she left Cagayan de Oro for Lanao del Norte, on Thursday, she sat down with Cagayan de Oro Mayor Oscar Moreno, the first local executive in Mindanao, to declare his support for the vice president after after she filed uh, her certificate of candidacy in October 2021. The mayor, incidentally, is running for governor again in Misamis Oriental, the old position he held for nine years before he won an election as Cagendi Oro mayor in 2013. And the afternoon before that, Robredo met with Deputy Speaker Rufus Rodriguez and Misamis Oriental 2nd District Representative Juliet Uy, two politicians who don't see eye to eye with the mayor when it comes to politics. Rodriguez and Mayor Emano cut off their political ties in 2016 when the congressman challenged the mayor's re-election bid. In this year's elections, the mayor and the con- and congresswoman Uy are rivals in the race for Misamis Oriental staff post. But in an ex- unexpected twist, we are now seeing again the Oro and Misamis Orientals bickering political groups and rivals sharing a common bet for the presidency. Vice President uh, Lenny Robredo, that is. Good evening. I am Herbie Gomez, Rappler's Mindanao Bureau Chief, and I will be joined by Rappler's Head for for the Regions in Dai Barona. Uh, and to make sense of uh, this phenomenon, these strange concoctions in the Lenny Robredo campaign or movement, and to give us a clear picture of what's happening on the ground in Mindanao is Mayor Oscar Moreno. But first, before we ask Mayor Moreno, let's hear from uh, Inday. Uh, Inday, are you seeing uh, the same Rosa campaign or similar strange color combinations in other regions outside Mindanao? Or is this uh, is this Rosa movement just a Mindanao thing? Oh, no, 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 no. It's, um, it's nationwide. And I think I wrote about it, Herbie, di ba? even before the Mindanao Rosa came on. No? When did that start? Let me see. Um, first, it was in Bicol. When, remember when the rival Bicolano politicians um, came together for um, Vice President and Presidential Aspirant Lenny Robredo at um, Dunsa on the eve of, her, of the campaign for national elections. Um, of course, Joey Salceda was very prominent there. And um, it was very, very clear na dahil halos hindi sila mag-usap ni Kiko Pangilinan on the same stage. Their body language, no, very strange. Magkatabi sila pero nakatingin sila sa ibang tao. Kahit wala silang kinakausap, ay ayaw nila magtingin ng sarili. And I had asked our Stringer Rides Barsha, Tanungin mo si Joey kasi they were making big na, yay, finally for Lenny siya, for Lenny sila. I said, no pressure, ask him who's the vice president. At doon na nga, kahit hindi niya pa inamin nun, um, alam na na si Sara Duterte ang kanyang mano for the vice presidency. Of course, for context, Joey Salceda had been pushing Sara to run for the presidency. no So parang, Parang kumbaga, 
when I hear him speak, ah, parang consuelo di bobo si Vice President sa kanya, eh, dahil, dahil wala si Sarah kaya si Vice na, no? pero si Sarah pa rin ang kanyang VP. Now next, what happened? In February also, just a few days after that, we had eight mayors of Eastern Samar, wala pa si Ben Everdonin yan, um, coming out, joining a kakamping, big kakamping rally for Lenny Robredo. So eight mayors, you know, that was big. They were also uh, predominantly, not everybody, but six of eight were PDP Laban members. And so definitely they were for Sara Duterte, who was the official candidate, who is the official candidate of the PDP for the VP post. Kahit sa Negros, kung saan nyo na mayagpag na, wow, that's really for Lenny. It wasn't quite the same. Because when I had been asking, as early as December, um, like the vice mayor of Bacolod, El Cid Familiaran, and then um, um, a politician running for um, the council, si M. Ang, and several um, others from the province, I was asking them, so uh, Lenny Marcos, kanino kayo? Then they said, at least these two said, um, Lenny kami. Um, kahit ano pang sabihin, Lenny kami. But when I asked who was the uh, VP nila, si Sarah agad ang sinabi nila. Governor Bong Lakshan of Negros Occidental, he was, he was, he, matagal siya bago nagsabing Lenny because he was torn. He couldn't um, go for the LPVP dahil nga NPC siya uh, and he was going to, he had to first wait for his party's um party's decision. So marami yan. There's in Iloilo, certainly in Luzon, um, Herbie, it's it's more nga the exception. Uh, it's more the rule than the exception. no? Unless, of course, a politician is talagang LP. Talagang matagal na yan na nagpa-percolate at matagal na yatang niluluto ang tinatawag na um, Rosa. Or matagal nang para kay Sarah sila and when things didn't go as they expected, you fall back nila ang Rosa. Now, now we go to Mayor Moreno. Mayor, maing gabi, maing gabi, Mayor. Maing gabi, Hello. Mayor. Oh, maing yeah, gabi. I'm here, I'm here. Oh. Hi, Hindi. How are you? And uh, nasan ka? Nasan ka ngayon? I'm here in the town of Salai uh, in Misami Sariatan. And uh, I'm waiting for my turn. We're uh, uh, campaigning uh, here in the municipality of Salai. Okay. Thank you very much for, for give, giving us a, sparing us some time, Mayor. Now, for starters, Mayor, can you tell us something about your Thursday morning meeting with the Vice President Lenny Robredo. How long was this meeting? Where? And uh, can you share with you, uh, the things that yeah. you talked about? Matagal din, uh, we had breakfast. Uh, we had a long discussion. Kasama ko ang aking running mate, si Ayi Hernandez. And uh, kami lang dalawa, I, I did not... Uh, I decided to uh, not to ask others to join, no? Para focused ang discussion. Incidentally, two days before, I uh, received an invitation for a private meeting with the vice president. And uh, uh, the day before yesterday, I was in another municipality in the western side of Cagayan de Oro, and uh, it was very difficult for me to uh, be in Cagayan de Oro on the uh, preferred time no, uh, that the Vice President had uh, said. No? So our meeting was reset to the day after, no, a morning after. Kaya nag-breakfast kami kahapon, and... Uh, Yes, he did tell me about uh, uh, Rufus and uh, Juliet uh, joining the camp, uh, but uh, doing the Rosa line. No, you know, uh, I was asked by local media 
regarding uh, first uh, the announcement of Rufus and then later after uh, Juliet Uy announced uh, her decision as well. No, my my reaction, her view was uh, very simple. Uh, I'm glad that uh, they are uh, supporting Vice President Lenny Robredo. Uh, I'm glad that they see it uh, the way I see it. Although uh, I would have wished that uh, they would also support uh, the vice presidential candidate of uh, uh, Lenny Robredo. No? Uh, uh, the reason being, uh, Herbie, you know, uh, it's very important that you have teamwork and harmony, especially in the uh, two highest positions of the land, no? Uh, I have nothing against uh, Mayor Sara, but uh, what I would have, uh, I would prefer is uh, the president and the vice president uh, can work together harmoniously, and uh, there is teamwork between the two of them. Uh, but uh, of course. Uh, uh, that's their decision, uh, meaning uh, Rufus and Juliet, and I respect their decision. Mayor, tatanong ko lang. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of the voters who um, alam natin na si Duterte rin naman ang nanalo ng 2016 at si VP Robredo. So there were people who voted for that, and the same people are saying, "Teka muna." Um, it's not necessarily true. Baka kung si VP naman na ma maganda ang disposition and, and she has said that she can work with anybody um, na hindi naman masyadong um, delikado or it's not going to paralyze the government if two different, uh, if two people from two different political parties yeah. um, run together. Yeah. Sa akin, so, uh, okay. Wala, wala akong problema dyan, Inday, no? Uh, that's the system that we have. Uh, how many times uh, have it happened na uh, ang president and the vice president uh, did not come from the same party, no? Uh, ilang maraming beses na, no? But, uh, you know, uh, in, in government kasi, uh, la luna with all the problems that we have, uh, what we need is a teamwork and harmony as well, no? And uh, iba na rin kung, kung kasama choice niya si Senator Kiko, no? Iba na rin. Uh, and sa akin, uh, I do understand uh, uh, why we, uh, people still prefer uh, Mayor Sara, no? But uh, I think... Uh, all other angles, all angles uh, would favor Senator Kiko, no? Experience uh, and uh, yung, yung, yung com competency niya sa governance. And ilang years na siya sa Senado? Uh, 18 years? Three terms? And then, uh, of course, uh, uh, naging member din ng cabinet. No, uh, si Senator Kiko is very experienced, and he can certainly help the president, uh, uh, President Lenny, uh, lead the country. No, uh, iba na kasi inday yung may confidence. Eh. Uh, but of course, uh, sigurado yan if yan ang mandate ng ating mga kababayan. Uh, who are we to ignore that, no? And not even the president uh, will ignore that, I'm sure. No? President-elect Lenny, uh, God willing, uh, ano rin, uh, siyempre tatanggapin niya yan. You know, uh, ang ano ko lang is, uh, uh, mahirap inday na ano, no? Na walang teamwork and harmony. It's doable under our system, but uh, what, doable is one thing and preferable is another thing. 
Okay. Mayor, um, napansin ko itong lately, no? Pag sinabi mo, may mandato, o oh, nga, that's after election, depende sa outcome ng elections, ano? Mm. Pero ngayon, kampanya pa lang, napansin mm. ko sa Borongan, for example, um, na si Kiko, who was, um, who was there in the earlier shorties in summer, biglang nawala sa Borongan, no? At uh, inamin na nga niya after... Um, sinabi na yun sa amin nung gabi na yun, pero it was off the record. And then eventually, um, inamin na rin ni Kiko. Na sinabi yan raw siya na huwag nang pumunta kasi um, iba ang gusto ng lokal. So parang iba yung sabihin mong okay lang suporta natin si Sarah. Um, we will accept any, you know, we will accept anybody who supports Lenny. You know? Pero iba yung sabihin mo si Kiko na Huwag ka nang pupunta dyan sa rally. Eh, rally ni Lenny yan well, eh. Hindi naman lo- rally ng local campaign yan eh. I mean, how, uh, how are we going to, to weigh yeah. this? You know, you know, Inday, I, I cannot comment on that. Dahil uh, wala akong personal knowledge niyan, no? Dahil posible kasi, kwento lang yan. Alam mo na, sa politika, ang daming intriga. Uh, in, sa buhay, uh, pinakamaraming intriga sa politika, no? Although na pag-usapan namin ni Vice President no uh, Lenny uh, over breakfast and nasabi nga din niya na uh, even in her run for the vice presidency meron ding mga political leaders who supported Marroas then but they had a different preference for vice president no normal yan uh, these things happen in die no So, uh, you just have to, alam mo, yan ang beauty sa uh, politika, no, sa campaign. Uh, it's not a perfect world, no? And you have to adapt, no? You have to adjust. Of course, meron kang ideal situation, but uh, push comes to show, you have to adjust. Now, I, I tell you, in that, you know, uh, in my first Uh, campaign in, in my first term as Congress, no? Alam ni Herbie ito. Uh, in my first term of, uh, as Congressman in 1998, I was the official candidate of La Paz CMD in my district, first district of Isamis Oriental. Unfortunately, yung mayor ng aming hometown sa Balingasag uh, was not supportive of me dahil siyempre worried siya na mayroong uh, lalambang sa, sa kanya, no? Uh, that I, I came from the private sector. So, ayaw niya na tang, uh, uh, tumulong sa akin, no? Proclamation rally namin, and we talked about this with the Vice President, proclamation rally namin, our party in my own hometown, I was not allowed to speak. I was not allowed to appear. Alam mo, Inday, nabanggit, napag-usapan namin yun dahil napag-usapan, nabanggit ko kay Vice President. Sabi ko, you know, nobody asked me to to endorse you. Uh, but I felt na of all the presidentials, <clears throat> ikaw ang, ang most uh, prepared sa akin for the position. Uh, with all things being considered, no? Sabi ko, isang, isang consideration doon is your humility. Sabi ko sa kanya, Inday, your humility, that I went through that, no? Alam mo, Inday, sa, sa politika, may mga, ano yan, parang fraternity din, may mga initiation, no? Uh, of course, these are not planned, these are not designed, no? But these things happen. May mga hurdles that you need to cross and uh, those hurdles test your character. Uh, sabi ko nga sa kay Vice President, uh, doon ko na-realize na if you want to be a public servant, a true public servant, you have to be humble. You have to be humble. No? So, uh, tinanggap ko yung decision. And then, nangyari pa nga, alam ni Herbie ito, I hope, no? 
nung sa election day, sample ballot namin, in my own hometown, wala akong pangalan. Pangalan ng kalaban ko ang nandun sa sample ballot. Pero still, uh, the people supported me. Kaya sabi ko nga kay Vice President Lenny na after the election, sinabi ko nga sa aking mga kababayan na meron pang bagay na mas matindi pa sa sample ballot. And one of them is what's in the hearts of the people, no? So, yung mga ganong kwento na uh, assuming for the sake of discussion na totoo, uh, I'm not surprised, no? Dahil yan ay palagay ko test yan sa karakter ni Senator Kiko. Eh kung alam mo, kung, kung hindi siya humble, hindi siya papayag. And he can insist na na dapat silang dalawa ni Vice President Lenny. But all the more, ad, ad, I admire him. I admire him for his humility. Tutusin mo nga naman, ilang years sila sa Senado na medyo natahimik no? because, because of the circumstances uh, of the times. No? Kaya sa akin, yung mga ganun... Uh, Uh, may mga ano yan eh, may mga, they could be blessings. They could be blessings. Sometimes, in day, yung mga problema are blessings in disguise. Okay. Wise words, may, Herbie? Oh, may Roca, y- ikaw yung, uh, you were the first local chief uh, executive in Mindanao to declare support for VP Lenny. Immediately after... Kahit sa bansa, Herbie. Kahit sa bansa. Oh, after she filed her, her uh, candidacy in October 2021. Now, I remember you saying that you were seeing a clear groundswell at that time uh, and that your decision to support her was based on your conscience. In a, on your conscience. Now, in a way, you started uh, drum beating for, for her campaign. Na, no? Now... Um, In this strange setup, Mayor, itong Rosa movement, iba-ibang color. Uh, in this, uh, is is this something you you really welcome? I mean, we are told that in politics it should always be uh, an addition. Okay, yeah, that yeah, means yeah. the separate declarations of of uh, of support of Rubus Rodriguez and Juliet Uri are good for Lenny, uh, yes. not notwithstanding their choice for. For the vice presidency, you know, which uh, mm. who we know is the Bau Mayor uh, Sara Duterte, but uh, for her to meet your political opponents, now how, how did that make you feel? How do you think, uh, uh, Senator Fields? Ha, huh? Erby, wala akong problema jan. Wala akong problema jan. In fact, like I said, natuwa ako. Biro mo, yung kalaban mo now naniniwala sa iyo kahit kalahati lang. ba? Diba? Isn't that a vote of affirmation? Uh, dahil si Juliet is NUP. And ang NUP, uh, alam naman natin kung who is supporting NUP, no? And may group decision yan eh. Pero palagay ko, meron ng blessing na okay, you, you you go to where your conscience leads you. And that's a good sign. Sa akin, I'm not looking at it only sa side ni Juliet. I'm looking at it also sa side ng mga NUP members who uh, may already have decided na mag rin sila. Yan ang, yan ang bigger story sa akin. Now, yung, yung porke karibal ko si Juliet, walang problema niyan, Herbie, no? That will not change the picture. That will not change the picture. Siya pa nga ang sumama sa akin. Hindi ako sumama sa kanya. And why should I feel bad? Although, like I said, kung gusto niya tumulong kay Lenny, kung sinsero siya sa tulong niya kay Lenny, dapat ibuhos na niya sa buong team para siyempre uh, matulungan talaga si Lenny. No? Alam mo, Herbie, 
Pareho yan sa atin sa lokal, governor, vice governor, mga city sa munisipyo. Alam alam na natin nangyayari pagkalaban ng mayor at vice mayor, no? Uh, governor and vice governor. Alam din natin kung how how harmonious, how ano bang flawless yung trabaho. Alam mo, ako dinaanan ko yung matindi na obstructionism ng city council, no? Matindi. And then nadaanan ko rin yung yung talagang suporta all the way, no? At nakita ng ating mga kababayan ang wide difference between the two, between yung babag and kaabag, no? Nakita talaga ng ating mga kababayan and yan ang messaging ko rin no? uh, dito kay Sir Rosa. While okay yan, pero sana, sana mapag-isipan ng ating mga kababayan na kailangan ni Lenny tulong. Tulong and choice niya si Senator Kiko Pangilinan. And I'm sure choice niya yan for many reasons. Alam mo, si Senator Kiko was ready to file his certificate of candidacy dahil meron pa siyang isang term sa Senado. But, but, si he had to do it. Dahil tingin niya, kailangan ni Lenny. Sa akin, Herbie, yan ang uh, more than just a political move. Sa akin, that's statesmanship and patriotism. No, uh, so politika kasi, alam natin, there is no commonality of interest kahit mag-asawa, kahit magkapatid, kahit uh, kambal. Uh, there, there is no commonality of interest, no? There is only one interest as far as one person is concerned, and that is his or her interest, no? Pero here nakita natin si Senator Kiko na he, he could have insisted to in, uh, takbo siyang senador after all ready na ang uh, certificate of candidacy niya but he opted he made the sacrifice he made the sacrifice Herbie and yan sa akin uh, mabigat yan mabigat yan dapat uh, isipin din natin yung mga then these are the, the ito yung mga mga what I would call invisibles na that can really uh, yun bang defining sa karakter at pagkatao ng isang individual. Okay. Mayor, um, doon naman yeah. sa bakit si Lenny ang pinili nila? Ikaw maaga ka. Now, you were the first mm. nation local executive to to bat for VP mm. Robredo. And then we have all these you know, Johnny come late. Um, bakit kaya? Um, I mean, naniniwala kasi marami sa kanila until a few months ago were, you know, singing hallelujah for other people, no? And now, Lenny, bakit ba? Is it because nagkursilyo at biglang nagbago ang pananaw nila kay Big Piro Bredo? O merong ibang factor na nakikita o kinoconsider nila ngayon? Tinitinan ko, alam mo, Inday, lahat sila, mga presidentiables, are well-intentioned. Si Isko, si Manny, Senator Lacson, si Abelia, lahat yan. They are all well-intentioned, no? Pero there are things that you look at and syempre, uh, uh, sa atin kasi walang run-off walang run off uh, kung may run off then you can go kung kanino ka no so kung mag-decide sa akin kung mag-decide uh, tinitingnan ko na yung as if may run off no so sino kaya ang most likely mag-ano niyan no uh, dahil magkakaroon ng alignment yan along the way kahit noon no lalo na nung 1987 Uh, uh, 1992 election, no? Uh, ilan silang presidente tumagbo? Si MVR only had 22%, no? And then, uh, 
1998, uh, may klarong mandate si Erap noon, no? And so on. Now, ang ano po, Inday, uh, bakit, bakit nag-decide ako kay Lenny? Nabagit ko na ang isang reason, humility. Dahil sa akin kasi, very fundamental ang humility sa isang public servant. Dahil, yun nga, eh, the term alone means you serve. Now, how can you serve if you are not humble? <laughs> Simply lang eh. Ang, ang ano nga, I'm reminded of the words of Maning Pilay, yung ano niya, public service is an apostleship of service, no? Where you give yourself unselfishly. Now, Alam mo, meron ako dyan sa opisina ko yung picture of the painting where Maning Pilay wrote those words. No? Painting of uh, Doris Magsaysay Ho, yung washing of the feet. Yan ang ano, always sa akin. Kaya whenever somebody, anyone asks me, uh, gustong pumasok sa politika, I would discourage. Sabi ko, siguraduhin mo na you really want to serve. Sa akin din, Inday, alam ni Herbie ito, I was in the private sector for 20 years before I became congressman, no? Uh, and I, I was, I did not like politics. I did not like politics, no? Pero nahawaan ako, yung virus ko sa politika, galing ito kay Senator Nene Pimentel. Kaya, I'm very proud of this, no? Now, ang nangyari kasi noon, I was in the private sector, mayroong problema. Uh, may problema after 1992 election. Ngayon, yung, may project yung, yung principal ko sa Cebu that the new governor wanted to undo yung project ni Lito Osmeña. Now, of course, uh, that pro problem was principally political rather than legal, no? So the consortium decided to engage Senator Nene Pimentel, no? Eh, hindi naman nila kilala yun si Senator Pimentel, hindi wala silang access. Akala nila kilala ako del I'm from Cagayan de Oro, Misabi Surintal, no? So they asked me to arrange that meeting. Pero... Eh, eh, hindi ko lang masabi sa kanila na hindi rin ako kilala ni Nene, no? ni Senator Nene. Eh, anyway, I did that, I arranged that meeting. Uh, to, tinanggap ni Senator Nene ang engagement. Pero after having done so, sinabihan niya yung grupo na I want Oka to assist me. So because of that, I had to go to Cebu with Senator Nene every Friday and then come back to Manila every Sunday just to uh, look into that problem, no? And mga two years din namin na binuno yan, dun sa two years na yan in Dai, I went through the transformation stage uh, from somebody who hated politics to somebody who saw the dignity of a public servant. And I'm very grateful kay Senator Nene na sa kanya, kanya po nakuha yung, yung virus ko, no? So, kaya, uh, ano, ano rin, no? Ang dami ko rin ginaan ng problema. And uh, pasalamat din ako kay Senator Nene for guiding me, for guiding me in those difficult times, no? So, ganyan, Inday, no? Uh, the long and short of it, uh, why Lenny? Humility. And also, tingin ko sa lahat ng mga kandidato na winnable, may chance na manalo, siya lang ang makaka-unite ng ating bansa. And that is, yung harmony is the most important thing to have ngayon, no? You know, ang bansa natin in Dai is polarized. Mabigat, no? And it's not helping us. Uh, we need to, kami, alam mo, sa analysis ko, ang mga cities, highly urbanized cities, can afford 
a dysfunctional national government, no? Pero yung mga ating mga munisipyo, hindi kaya. Hindi kaya in spite of the Mandanas doctrine, no? Hindi kaya. But anyway, uh, sa akin is yung unifying uh, capacity ni Vice President Lenny is very crucial. Humility and a unifier. Mayor, lastly, no? Unless if, if Indai here still has a question. But lastly, uh, what, what do you think are the winning chances of uh, Lenny Robredo? Well, it's are up to the people to answer that, Herbie. <laughs> it's up to the Filipino people. Now, it's now in the hands of the Filipino people. And uh, I'm glad to note na the Filipino people are responding. Alam mo, Herbie, itong presidency is destiny. That's destiny. And nobody, nobody can answer that except destiny. And um, Siguro, last question on my part, Mayor. Do you think that all these politicians now going for Lenny can smell in the air how maybe people are also changing their perception and are, you know, um, tilting towards her? Kasi biglang ang dami nila talaga eh. Alam mo, alam mo, very good question, Inday, no? Grabe ang, ang sense of volunteerism ngayon ng mga kababayan natin. I'm sure ikaw, marami kang mga kaibigan, long-lost friends who you have not communicated for decades, na ngayon are active, talagang campaigning and spending their own money. Grabe, grabe Inday, no? Iba yung, iba yung sa kay President Duterte. Pero nakita natin may swell, no? Nakita natin. And when, when Metro Manila started to, to show support, that was it. Panalo na si Mayor Duterte doon, no? Uh, kita na natin. And uh, Northern Luzon, uh, kita din natin na... Uh, na talagang yung yung campaign niya against drugs ang ang inasahan ng ating mga kababayan now ito lang naman simple lang naman ang sinasabi ni Vice President Lenny gobyernong tapat no gobyernong tapat uh, very simple but very deep and alam mo inday sa ating mga kababayan uh, meron yung sense of history and sense of patriotism yan ang tingin ko ang pinakaimportante na element nitong presidential election sense of history and sense of patriotism you know I've been observing uh, nag Ano yung Tavite, uh, Laguna, etc. No? Ito yung mga provincia that rebelled against Spain. Ha? Yung, yung eight race sa ating uh, Philippine flag. I've been following in Dai. And uh, sinusundan ko rin. And now the, the countryside is responding. The countryside is responding. Kaya tuwan-tuwa ako dahil yung unang rally niya doon sa Hingoog, ito kasi, Inday, uh, itong candidacy ko ngayon is uh, medyo strange in that wala akong mayor. Wala akong mayor no, sa 25 NGOs. Uh, pero may organization ako, but uh, mas ma ma mabigat. No? But uh, okay lang. Kaya sa akin kasi, I want to break traditional politics. Yan ang mensahe ko. We must break traditional politics, no? Now, I was worried doon sa Ingoog dahil before Cagayan, nag, uh, pumunta si Vice President sa Ingoog. I was worried dahil baka kunti lang ang sumipot, no? Wala kaming organization doon, hindi. But to my surprise, wow, grabe ang reaksyon ng ating mga kababayan. And Cagayan responded as well. And the rest now, I hope, is history. 
Okay. Now. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Election day is uh, just around the corner. It's it's less than forty days away, and only time will tell if Lenny Robredo, if her campaign would continue to pick up steam between now and election day, or if this Rosa movement or other mixtures would turn out to be good or bad for her, for her uh, bid for the presidency. Remember that whatever we do now and our choices collectively as a nation will impact us, our families, our countries, and our future. On that note, we thank Mayor Moreno for sparing us some of his precious time uh, to be with us tonight and share some of his thoughts on what's happening on the ground. We appreciate it, Mayor Mocha. Mahing gabi sa tanan. Mahing gabi sa tanan.